Hi, I'm Brian, service manager at Whole Latte Love, and today I'm going to show you how to drain your Profitec Pro 700. Cool. Okay. Both boilers, right? Both boilers, yep. Okay. So this will be handy for, uh, you know, if you're sending your machine in for a repair, or if you're going to be storing it for a while, or, you know, maybe you need to change a heating element. All sorts of reasons you may want to do this, but now you'll know how. Okay. All right. So on newer models, there's going to be a couple ways that you can get this done a lot easier and a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to show you those real quick first. On your coffee boiler, you have this drain port right here. It's got a three millimeter plug on the top or front. Again, this go. is only on, on newer uh, Pro 700s. Yeah, so. they've only been doing this for the last couple of years. So mm -hmm. uh, if your machine's like uh, probably three or more years old as of 2021, uh, then you may not have these plugs on this and the one that I'm going to show you on the steam boiler. So I'm going to go over how to drain it the other if way you as don't well. Have that. Yep. Okay. So you just take that plug off. Always make sure that the valve is facing towards the front of the machine before you take that plug off. Because if it's facing the other way, then you're going to start draining water all over yourself. Mm -hmm. um, you can use whatever you want. If you have uh, like a little hose or something, they'll slip over that um, or a cup or whatever you want. Uh, but you also have this fancy reservoir sitting here. They'll do the trick. So what you would do is just kind of line it up. This is just a little tricky just because of the fact that you got the lip on the <laughs> reservoir, so you just move that there, and then you would open up your lever. It's a lot of air to go in there and yep. drain away. Drain away. So, like I said, that one's that way's a little messy just because of the lip there. But if you have like a cup or something, it'll be a lot easier. Okay. Um, so I will disclaimer, it's either because I'm just always messy or it's just the nature of the beast. <laughs> you will always get some water on the counter when you're doing this. So, you know, just be prepared for that. Uh, keep a towel handy. Okay. So, but yep, yeah, if you just hold that open like that for a while, you'll, you'll, you'll see it stop coming through and it'll be good enough. Uh, basically, you're making sure that if you're shipping it, especially in the winter, if you're shipping it into us, we're in upstate New York, it gets really cold here, so we don't want your uh, boiler getting damaged if the water in there freezes. So right. that's one of the main reasons that we say to make sure that you're emptying it. That and it's lighter, so it costs less to ship. Oh yeah, why ship the water? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We got water here, we don't need yours, that's okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm gonna show you on the bottom of the steam boiler now. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm, I'm not going to go through this part just because that, uh, that this way makes a bit more of a mess and yeah. Mark doesn't like when I make messes <laughs> in here. So uh, if you see right here, you got another plug on the bottom here. Uh, there's no valve under it as you can see. So this one, if you take, if you open that up, you're just going to have water dumping out of there. That's uh, like a six millimeter? Yep, that's a, yep, yep. Six mm -hmm. millimeter uh, Allen screw right there to take it out. And you already removed this plate over here that would normally be yep. yeah, covering this, that up. Yeah, this is the yeah. cover for it. And it's just uh, four three millimeter screws to take that off. Okay. So that's how you'd access both that plug as well as your steam uh, heating element. Okay. But we're going to go through how to do this if you don't have those drains on yep. your boilers, right? Exactly. Which, which you might find on older machines. Not, not the most painful process. This is definitely uh, the quick and easy, other than having to take the housing off to get to this one. Uh, yeah. If you don't want to take your housing off, you can totally do it this way too. It's uh, fine yeah. this way too. So, so what you're going to do is get an adjustable wrench on your mushroom valve there. Mm -hmm. Break that free. I like how you put the sacrificial hand there so you don't mar your... Uh, Always. Don't knock the front of your machine there with the wrench. These are my other children, no, so you okay. know. You take good care of them. I, I try to. Okay. We're just going to take the mushroom out, and then you've got... This is something you generally want to do with a machine cold. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, this, this isn't fun to do if it's hot, so... Except when we get to the steam boiler. Except for the, yeah. Exactly, yep. And I'll show you that in a moment. So, there we go. Take that out, and then you'll see you see already start getting water draining all over oh, Mark's yep. counter. Yep, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> okay. Now we use the muscle. Now we use the muscle. Okay, because we're going to so go over to the that, sink, uh, I've got a feeling. We are going over to the sink. So, come right over like this. Get your feet lined up with the edge of the sink. 
-hmm. and then you're going to rock the machine forward. Uh, if you're not diesel like I am, you may want to <laughs> grab a friend. And you're just going to flip the machine like that. So this is just all the water's coming through the uh, tubes on the top of the coffee boiler and exiting through the E61. So you just hold it like that until you don't have water coming through anymore. Okay. So I'm not going to bore you with the whole process, but it's less than a minute of holding it like that, so not excruciating. Yeah, and you just got your workout for today. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> now we're going to do it a couple hundred more times. So for your steam boiler, uh, if your steam boiler is heating, assuming that you're not setting in because that's not working, mm -hmm. uh, the easiest way to do it is to just let the machine heat up fully and then open up your hot water tap and that's going to get most of the water out. Um, what you would do is put, if you're running off of uh, uh, the uh, network, you're going to want to shut off your water first. Mm -hmm and disconnect your water line, uh, then it won't siphon anything out. If you are running usually off of your reservoir, what you're going to want to do is take your reservoir out so that there's nothing to come through the system. Mm -hmm. And then on the front here, move your, make sure your switch is set for the network. Okay. That way it'll sense that you, uh, it won't, it'll trick, bleh, it'll trick <laughs> out your uh, sensor so that it can actually flow water through it. Okay. Uh, the idea is we're not trying to suck anything new into it, we're just trying to get purge all the water out. So what if I got a problem and you know my machine can't heat up or I don't want to heat up my machine? We got I'm we glad got you asked. Ah. That's what I'm gonna do real quick. I'm just gonna put this back in here so that I don't make an even bigger mess on your counter. Oh I appreciate that. Hey I'm nice sometimes. <laughs> just don't tell anyone. Okay. And I'm not going to go all the way. It's enough that I'm not making a big mess. All right, so if you cannot heat your steam boiler and your machine does not have the uh, draining plug on the bottom of it, mm -hmm. there is a workaround. Uh, basically, you just line your machine up so that your steam wand is hanging over the edge. Mm -hmm. You can take your tip off or leave it on either way. Your flow will be better if you take the tip off. Um, it won't take so long. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, this is the long version, so because yeah. obviously you got much more restriction going this way. But what you're going to do is open up your valve all the way, mm -hmm. and then just like we did with oh, draining I the coffee your boiler. Was over. Exactly. <laughs> yep. That's so like I said, a hundred more times today. So you just turn it on its <laughs> side like this. And again, if you want to grab someone to help you out, it's totally cool. Mm -hmm. um, so what's happening is you're going to lift it so that the water is going to be coming through this tube right here and going over to your steam tap. Now, you'll notice there's nothing coming out of here right now. That's because I actually accidentally already drained this earlier <laughs> doing another video. Because again, Mark really likes it when I pour water on his I counter. Do. So, uh, but you would normally see water coming out of here. And like I said, it's the kind of long, drawn out version of it. It is going to take a couple minutes for it to finally get emptied enough out of there. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, you know, gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah, you do have to do what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> but, so. yeah, and that's uh, in a nutshell how you get it done. All right, Brian, thanks for taking us through how you drain the boilers on the Pro 700. No problem.